This is the S61 Pro by Doogie. Now this is branded as a rugged smartphone with a price point of only $200 and having a night vision camera. So I was curious to see just how much of a battering can this take? And is it a feasible option for say, photographers who go to very rugged places? Now, if you're used to the slim phones that are quite popular today, then this will feel quite chunky. And while 266 grams doesn't sound heavy, this is 26 grams heavier than an iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now, it feels pretty rugged, to be fair, and I, and I like the design of it. It's got quite an eye-catching, clear window effect on the back that shows all the internal components of the phone. Although these are only model, they're not actually real components. And Doogie do sell separately alternate backs that you can switch in place if you don't like the clear window. Now the overall specs of the phone pretty much fall in line with budget smartphones. No great surprises. You get a 6 inch IPS LCD panel with a resolution only up to 720p. That is coupled to a MediaTek G35 processor and 6 gigabytes of RAM. All particularly standard for budget phones, nothing particularly brilliant, but it gets the job done. The screen is bright, the contrast is good, but the colours do look cold and quite washed out. The process is sufficient for general tasks with no issues, you can even handle basic games, but when you start putting it under heavy load, you do start to see a bit of lag sometimes in the screen responsiveness. Although, I think this processor is geared more to energy efficiency rather than raw horsepower, which that coupled with the 5180mAh battery does mean you can get a lot of use in between charges. Now there's three cameras on this phone. There's a 48 megapixel main camera, a 16 megapixel front facing selfie, and the 20 megapixel night vision. Now the main camera, the front cameras, not really much to write home about. They're pretty standard in image quality for a budget phone, they can only record up to 1080p video when there's no options of any high frame rate. The unusual camera to talk about here is the night vision one. Now this is not to be confused with night mode that a lot of smartphones have that just uses a regular camera and then settings which are optimized to produce cleaner color images at night. This night vision camera actually uses a dedicated Sony IMX350 sensor to shoot night vision like you see on security cameras. It even has four small infrared LED lights that come on to aid it in low light. Now the quality of this is okay, I mean it's quite a unique feature to have but with such a wide field of view and the fact that you can't record video it's only stills, I'm not actually sure how much practical use this camera will be to most people. You get the ability to install two separate SIM cards as well as a micro SD card which allows you to expand on the already existing 128 gigabytes of internal storage. You even get a headphone jack and a USB Type-C port. Now all of these are protected by rubber covers to aid in the weather sealing. The phone is rated to IP68 and IP69K so it's said to be able to handle being submerged in one and a half meters for 30 minutes, which is handy if I want to show the fish some videos, and is rated to survive one and a half meter falls onto concrete. However, my testing of that didn't go particularly well. I mean, like I said, the phone itself feels pretty rugged, but even with the screen protector installed, the screen of this smashed on the first drop. I mean, I then dropped it about three and a half meters out of an upstairs window, and to be fair, the phone was still actually working, although the screen by this point was pretty much obliterated. Which for me is very disappointing. I had hoped that despite this phone's very budget price point, its ruggedness would make it an ideal candidate as a cheap phone for people to take out on adventures rather than risking their main phone. And while this is certainly more rugged than most budget smartphones, you know, can easily handle being submerged, based on my testing, it doesn't seem that the screen is particularly great at handling drops. I mean, you know, ultimately it is worth bearing in mind, this is still a budget smartphone, and it's a pretty good one at that. You know, it's got a nice design, the performance is on par with other budget smartphones, and like I say, this is more rugged than a normal budget smartphone, plus it has the night vision camera. Maybe, you know, maybe it was just a bad landing on my test, maybe it was just a bad copy of the screen, or maybe budget rugged smartphones just 
aren't ever really rugged enough for extreme use, and higher-end rugged smartphones would be more suited to you. Either way, that is going to conclude this video. If you have any questions or queries, then please feel free to leave them in the comments down below while you're down there. If you enjoyed the video, then please consider hitting the like and subscribe button, and then hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Because I'm not giving you enough attention. <laughs>